What's up, everybody? Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carletta, and here I speak on spirituality and self-awareness. So for this video today, I'm going to be talking about alignment. What alignment is, what it's like to be out of alignment, and how to get back into alignment. So alignment is pretty much when we are connected to our soul and we are living soul driven lives, divinely guided and also authentically, you know, living out our truth, whatever that may look like for you. A person that is in alignment tends to be connected to the higher dimensions and they are consciously creating versus moving on autopilot, you know, doing the mundane day in and day out and basically just existing. When we are in alignment, all of our decisions are pretty much spirit led and soul driven. You know, we are inspired and everything in the universe comes towards us with minimal effort. We have a healthy level of resistance and things in our lives just naturally flow. We experience constant synchronicities and we also have a strong level of manifestation ability. So how to know you're out of alignment? When we are out of alignment, our lives tend to be like an uphill battle. They may feel very difficult, like a constant struggle. You may even feel like dread or like your life has no meaning. Things could potentially, things that could potentially bring you excitement don't excite you. You know, things are pretty much just dull, boring, and you experience little joy. Life may feel like a chore, you know, where you are constantly just doing repetitive tasks day in and day out. And you tend to manifest more challenges in your life versus opportunities. So we may lack energy. We may have a lack of inspiration and question our purpose. And when we are out of alignment, life can be full of repetitive repetitive karmic cycles that are negative, stagnancy, and unanswered questions. So we may just be in a place where we are just unsure of things and feel like we're stuck. You know, like you're just stuck in the mud and you can't seem to get your way out of it. And, and once you seem like you're getting a little bit of air, you start back drowning again. That is pretty much... Um, what being out of alignment is. It's, it's just a constant state of, of um, unfulfillment. So how to get into alignment? How do we get into alignment? So number one is honesty. We have to get real. When we are out of alignment, it is a result of making dishonest choices doing things that are not in our hearts to do and living in ways that are not true to who we are. So this means that you have to study you. Examine what beliefs that you may be carrying that are not necessarily yours and what may need to be rewired in your mind. So that is number one. You know, you have to be honest with yourself and find out, you know, what is what is your truth? You know, what ways have you been dishonoring your authenticity and your divine nature? Number two is surrender. Now, surrendering pretty much has two parts. Once you find out what it is that you um, haven't been honest about, you want to surrender those things. You want to surrender what is holding you back. And then you want to surrender to your soul. You want to surrender to the higher power, God, divine powers, whatever it is that you believe in or that you are connected to, fill in the blank, and let go. You know, getting into alignment requires a level of letting go and being willing to cooperate with where your soul wants you to go, where your soul is guiding you so that you can grow. 
So this may require some uncomfortability. You know, you may be guided to do things you don't want to do necessarily, but in the long run, they work out for your benefit. They build you up and set you free and get you in alignment where you want it to be. So that is number two, surrender. You want to surrender what you feel is holding you back and surrender to where your soul is guiding you to go. Now, number three, listen and observation. So this means that we need to create downtime. In order for us to be able to hear, we have to be in a space where we have no distractions. So you want to create a time for you to be in solitude. You know, we are always receiving messages from our higher self, the divine. We just have to make space to connect and dissect what move is next. So basically be ready to take in information and limit anything that can get in your way of being able to hear the way that you need to. Alignment requires reflection and introspection. So that's number two, listen and observation. And last but not least, number four is take inspired action, divine action. Taking divine action is about making new choices that recalibrate our minds to function in its true divine nature. So you want to listen to those inspired hunches that you get. You know, any intuitive nudges that are leading you to, to make new changes in your life. You want to develop a new relationship with you, requiring Stepping into the new requires us to not chop off the relationship with our older self, but to integrate that relationship with our old self and the new version that we're becoming. So you want to build trust with that new version of you. You know, start to do things that build that trust within yourself and fall in love with the process of becoming. Don't be hard on yourself and release the pressure. So that is number four. Simply take inspired action. Whatever your soul is leading you to do that is requiring a new change, maybe a new atmosphere or new decisions that, you know, bring you joy. You know, we know whether or not something resonates with us by the way that it makes us feel. We know when something isn't right for us, you know, and not every decision that we make is going to make us comfortable because that's just not realistic. But when you get those inspired hunches, you definitely want to follow those, listen to those, because that is your soul taking you somewhere that is in alignment with the authentic version of who you are. So that is it for this video today on alignment. Four steps on pretty much getting back into alignment is being honest, surrendering, listening and observing, and last but not least, taking inspired action. So with that said, I hope that you found this video helpful today. I appreciate you all tuning in and I will catch you in the next one.